Hey, what's up everyone? Rogue Maverick here. Welcome to the Let's pa to part two of Let's Play Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the third time. <laughs> uh, kind of explain. I don't know if I explained in the previous video, uh, but oh yeah, I did. Yeah, never mind. So yeah, go to the previous video if you want more context on us. <gasps> Wait, oh, ow! I almost got to that unscathed. So we're in Marble Garden zone. I'm not a big fan of this zone. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't know what it is. It's it's fine enough, but some of the gimmicks don't really mesh well with me. Like the spinning top. I'm not a fan of this one. And the worst part is it's required in the, for some of the packs. So, that's, whoa, whoa, whoa. So that's fun. Oh, nope. This feels like a, a zone that wasn't quite finished, to be honest. And then very well might not have had the full polish, because this game was actually rushed. There we go. Whoa. Nice. I suppose, actually, I can tell you one of the reasons I don't like the song so much is that there's a lot of blind, uh, surprise moments that, like, moments that you're just like, how am I supposed to see that coming? Even me, who has played this game quite a bit more than I probably would like to admit, <laughs> although it's not a crazy amount, I've always enjoyed the game, but... Ow. Ow. But like those spike balls, like, yeah, the, those things, those things. Somehow I got to that without skate, being scathed. And there we go, those things take three hits to open up the pathway forward. Easy encounter. Honestly, this isn't my least favorite zone. That's the zone we're going to be seeing later on in the adventure. Oh, sixth chaos emote. <sighs> All right. So this one, I. I don't remember if this was one of the ones I did in the, uh, in the, um, oh, why did I do that? Crap, why did I do that? Oh, dear. In Sonic Mania. Yeah, I don't know. My memory's failing me on that one. But either way, these are just, in many ways, are the same. Okay. Whoa, oh dear. Okay, I see where they are. <gasps> okay, I see where they are. Ooh, okay, that was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> and that's six. I may actually be able to enjoy getting super, uh, showing off supersonic in this before we get to Mushroom Valley. Okay, so yeah, that answers that question. So you can tell this is a new recording session. Like, well, it's the same session I've been. I record in sessions. 
Uh, but this one was, I clicked save and exit to make sure I lo say, got all my saves going. So, yeah. I've missed, been, I've kind of missed ha having been doing YouTube. I'd, I meant to start a couple of days ago, but I then got busy with quite a few things. Hanging out with some friends, okay, that, that, that usually off, that usually gets me. This is something I like doing. I don't know why I like doing that, I just do. And it's saying basically it goes down and you get it in, or you get these tops going at full speed right off the bat. Come on, take off. <sighs> Come on, go down. Thank you. Yeah, these tops are kind of finicky. Uh, for that matter, how are these tops even floating? Alright, fine. I'll just do it this way. Oh, I think that was something intentional. So this is like the Mr. Mis uh, Cave Zone boss, where you get the tunnels into the ground and comes back out like so. Actually, Mr. Cave is one of my favorite zones from Sonic 2, partially for the really cool music. And there we go. And we got through Act 1. Wait! But yeah, friend had his birthday and I uh, had a sleepover and yeah, it was, it was a bit, I had a chaotic couple of weeks, a uh, couple of days, so that kind of delayed getting back into YouTube for a few days. What the? Eggman? Look, it's a giant talking egg! Uh, but yeah, I thought we were gonna fight him already. I guess not. Ow! I was trying to jump on it. this. Thank you. You know, since I've done a playthrough of Sonic Mania, I'm thinking about doing a playthrough of Sonic Forces. And I actually have some cool things to say about that game. Like, I don't quite think it's a terrible game. I don't think it's a fantastic Sonic game, but I don't, I don't think it deserves some of the hate it was getting. A little bit of hate, yeah, well, criticism, yeah. Oh, special stage time. Let's see. Oh dear, I don't remember this one that well. Oh crap. Oh, I remember it one. Uh, I might not be talking that much because I don't want to mess this up. I jinxed myself. I said I didn't want to mess it up. Uh, not to be fair, that's probably the one I remember the least. Oh, that was embarrassing. Six back to back, perfectly. And I messed up on the seventh. Well, I suppose the seventh one is supposed to be the hardest one. Oh dear. Hey, how do how do I get pushed off that? Seriously, what? Well, that was that was full crap. Anyways, and 
And up comes these platforms. <sighs> I hate these bubbles. That's actually what they're called, bubbles. They are a pain to deal with. Deal with that, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was... I don't know. I really don't know what I was doing. Sometimes I am weird and I... Sometimes I'm weird and I don't even know why. Although if you're... Although if you're... For watching this channel or are you are actually friends with me? Yeah. It's not a surprise. <laughs> And there we go, we've opened up that path. Attack. Attack and attack. Now opens up that platform so we can spin dash and break our way through. Oh, come on. Now can you see why I'm not a big fan of the zone? The layout and some of the gimmicks are actually fine. Uh, but there's moments that are just like, oh, come on, that's not an affair. Oh, well, it's not that big of a deal. Still doesn't completely affect, uh, affect my enjoyment of the game. I still like the game for what it is. The way I see it, if the good outweighs the bad of an experience, then that's when it's not so good. Wait, I'm oh, sorry, if the good outweighs the bad, ah, then it's still a good experience. Oh, I thought I had to sneeze. I guess not. Just wait for those arrows to shoot out, and then you can take another stab at it. Flame shield. And ground shaking again. Oh, Robotnik again. But we got a longer section of one of these sections. And now the ground is going to start, like the terrain is going to start falling down on us. You got to keep moving or you're going to get crushed. And crushed is not exactly something you want. It's not very fun to be crushed. Ah, we're gonna get crushed! Oh, no we're not. Thanks. Ah, oh, stupid bubbles. I hate those things, I really do. Ironically enough, they were one of the most annoying threats in Sonic 3's Marble Gardens, but in Sonic 4, bubbles are nothing more than homing attack. Uh, chains. So the more hits you knock on a Robotnik here, the more you, the less hits you'll have to do deal with in the sky here. But it's cool. Tails. Yeah, I did. I selected like Sonic alone. So at six hits. I should be anyway. So he's gonna come in from the right. The direction he goes is where Sonic, where he's gonna come in. And we're at Carnival Night Zone. One of my favorite zones, actually, in this game. And doing part to the piece of music. I don't know, it just feels... It's just so cool. It just has such a playful atmosphere. And then these are the same barrel type of things that we saw in Scrap Brain. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> and yeah. Sounds actually not really that annoying. I 
always enjoy playing this one. I don't know what it is about it. And take out that, I think they're called batter bots. I don't even know what those things are called. Or, or bat bots. I, I don't know. My memory is failing me on that. Now, my memory is serving correct. I think it is. No, it's not on this one. I thought there was a secret passage that led to a bonus ring. No, it's here. Let's try this again. <laughs> All right. Okay, we got it. Yeah! Super Sonic! Two episodes in! Okay, that feels awesome. Sonic got all the Chaos Emeralds. Now Sonic can be Super Sonic. Cool. <laughs> I'm not being sarcastic, that's actually super cool. So if you double tap the jump button, there you go, supersonic. But he costs a, he comes at the cost of one ring per second. But as you can see, he's like really fast. He's invincible. He can still drown. And those special rings now will give us fifty rings. Basically enough to turn super. Oh, that was way too close. That was really, really close. Uh, but the thing is, I'm going to try not to use Supersonic that much. He is game-breaking. And I'll be honest, the music is kind of annoying. Fortunately, it doesn't replace the boss music. Would be better if, uh, if, they, if they had the Sonic 3, uh, uh, um... Boss theme, so. Come on. Come here. Take the robot out. Yeah, that's it. Bing! Boom! Yeah, I think this is supposed to be. This kind of reminds me of Pong or Breakout. Break out the butter, because you're gonna be toast! Oh, that, that came out. That played out perfectly. Uh, that was a Crash Bandicoot reference, because when you fight Dingo Dial in uh, Warp, he says, Break out the butter, because you're going to be toast. Beautiful. Whoa. <laughs> I went so fast that the game, I think, had it that was like, whoa, 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 what are you doing there, buddy? And, yeah. So normally those bubble uh, balloons on the water, when you pop them, will, uh, uh, will give you, uh, air, but, of course, we don't need air. We're Sonic the Hedgehog with an air shield. Let's see what's over this way. Oh. I 
rude guy there. Oh, come. Meanwhile, let's just go this way. Okay, sorry about that again. And okay, up we go. Up, up we go. Up, up the mountain top. And I did not intend to turn supersonic there. That's fine. We can make this work. So these barrels, like many people, I was stuck when I first played the game. This was, I didn't know. Back then, you were supposed to go up and press up and down the D-pad. Does woo do that? Yeah. And knuckles. Turned up the lights. Do oh, you think that's gonna stop us? But yeah, Supersonic can still drown underwater, so that's why I wasn't. I was okay with grabbing the bubble shield. I don't know something about his yellow power. That it looks really cool. Yeah, the water is draining. And here we go. What the? That was funny. Alright. If I can... Alright, so there should be a light switch somewhere. Wait, hold on a minute. Oh, cool. Okay, I don't know why I'm collecting more rings. I don't want to hear the invincibility music. Oh, there's a switch. And there we go, the lights are on, and we spin dash, and there we go, we can get the... Let's just get this checkpoint. I do like the ability... Uh, high... more... the ability of more speed. And we have to hear this invincibility music for a little more longer. As if we didn't hear it long enough with Supersonic. Wow, what a pace breaker. Oh, wow. Oh, those are my little guys. Alright, let's see what's up this way. Ah. Up here should be, well, it was, it was one of those bonus rings, I believe. And I don't want to go super yet. Oh no, it was here. How am I able to... What the? What the? How can I... Oh, I can't... I... Oh, I still have access to the shields ability. Okay, I am officially lost. Is this a correct path of progression? Please tell me it is. 
Okay, yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, good, 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 good. Wait, wait a minute, is it? Oh, no. Okay, whoa, yeah. Yeah, it is. And uh, down we go. And up we go! This is Vavotnik. Okay, let's go super and let's just cheese him to death. He didn't even get a chance to attack. So that's it for this episode, actually. I hope you guys all enjoyed this, and I hope you guys are enjoying these new, this new playthrough. It's turning out to be a lot better than, than before. Okay, yeah, I had to actually find myself. Alright, so take care, guys. See you all then. Bye-bye.